evaluate cos 45 degree divided by sum of sec 30 degree and cosec 30 degree. We know that cos 45 degree is 1 upon square root of 2. Sec 30 degree is reciprocal of cos 30 degree and cos 30 degree is square root 3 upon 2. So sec 30 degree is 1 divided by square root 3 by 2 or you can say reciprocal of square root 3 by 2 it is 2 upon root 3. Similarly cosec 30 is reciprocal of sine 30 sin 30 is 1 upon 2 so reciprocal of 1 upon 2 is 2 so cosec 30 degree is 2 after substituting these values here we will get this expression as 1 upon square root 2 in the numerator as cos 45 degree sec 30 degree is 2 upon square root 3 and cosec 30 is 2 it can be simplified further as 1 upon square root 2 in the numerator and then 2 plus 2 root 3 upon square root 3 in the denominator okay so we will multiply the reciprocal of the denominator to the numerator in order to simplify it so again we can take as a common number and we can write it outside the bracket see how square root 3 in the numerator and in the denominator it is square root 2 multiplied by 2 outside the bracket and it is 1 plus square root 3 inside the bracket further you can simplify square root 3 2 square root 2 and then square root 3 plus 1 so in order to simplify it further we will rationalize this expression so what will happen after rationalization see the term is square root 3 divided by 2 square root 2 whole multiplied with root 3 plus 1 it will be rationalized after multiplying the number the term square root 3 minus 1 with the numerator as well as with denominator okay so further it will be written as square root 3 square root 3 minus 1 in the numerator and in the denominator we will have 2 square root 2 square root 3 plus 1 then square root 3 minus 1 using the identity a plus b whole multiplied with a minus b is equal to a square minus b square where a stands for square root 3 and b stands for 1 we can write this term as square root 3 in the numerator square root 3 square root 3 minus 1 2 square root 2 and then a square minus b square again in the numerator it is square root 3 multiplied with square root 3 minus 1 as a whole and then 2 square root 2 it is 3 minus 1 and 3 minus 1 is nothing but 2 further it will become square root 3 whole multiplied by square root 3 minus 1 and in the denominator it is 4 multiplied by square root 2 once again we will rationalize it after multiplying its numerator and denominator both by square root 2 individually so it will become square root 3 square root 3 minus 1 then square root 2 in the numerator and in the denominator you will have 4 square root 2 and then square root 2 so you can write numerator as 
you can multiply square root 3 and square root 2 both to these two terms simultaneously so you will get 3 root 2 minus root 6 in the numerator and in the denominator you will have 4 multiplied by 2 it is 3 square root 2 minus square root 6 upon 8 so this is the final answer